everybody and welcome back to Darkfeed. The team and I are just about to start our mission to get the intel back. Oh, <laughs> where are my manners? Let me introduce you to everybody. You've already met Heavy, meet Scout, Pyro, Demo, Angie, Medic, Sniper, Soldier, and Spy. We're just about ready to kick some serious blue ass. Anyway, before we head out, I've got to give you guys the news. So, let's get the crappy news out of the way. A Battleship game is being made, and no, it has nothing to do with the actual board game. It is based off the upcoming movie that also has nothing to do with the board game. Look, I love you Liam Neeson, but Jesus Christ. Moving on, Diablo 3 finally has a release date of May 15th. Moving on. I was going to discuss the details about how the Distant Worlds website was hacked, but I'm going to ignore it on purpose so that I can piss off a Night Sky 18. IN YOUR FACE CAT! A rumor is going around that the game retailers are being put up for sale. They've been really struggling for a while now it would seem. Also missing out on being able to sell Mass Effect 3 has hit them really hard. It would seem that they won't be stocking, lol, stocking, Resident Evil Raccoon City or Ninja Gaiden 3. Both titles will be available at other major retailers. Another rumor going around saying that the next Xbox will not have a disk drive. Microsoft responded to this by saying, shut up bitch, 360 isn't dead yet. Okay, they didn't say that exactly. But hey, I still agree. And finally, guess what? Mass Effect 3 sold a buttload of copies. Big surprise there. It sold 890,000 copies on the first day alone. Also, it would seem that some people didn't like the ending and want Bioware to change it. Yeah, like that's gonna happen. That wraps up the news for this week, so on to the question of the week. Last week I asked you, Halo 4 or Assassin's Creed 3, which one are you most excited for and why? Cool Sun H said, isn't it obvious? We've been waiting three years for Assassin's Creed 3. Really? Has anyone been waiting for Halo 4? Uh, yeah, cool son. They've been waiting five years. Veteran Gamer said, I'm excited for both games. I'm a huge fan of the Halo series, so I'm curious to see what 343 Industries is going to give us. It looks good, but I need to see more. I've never been interested in the Assassin's Creed games before, but setting it during the American Revolution really piqued an interest in it. I can't think of many games that take place during that period in history. Varnus said, I'm more excited about Halo 4 and I'm interested slash curious about how 343 Industries continues the Halo story. But that doesn't mean I won't pick up Assassin's Creed 3. Corndog said, I'm not a fan of Halo, so Assassin's Creed 3 it is. Well put, Private Corndog. Colin said, hmm, I don't know. I think both have quite a good shot. Personally, I'm more inclined to AC3 but I really want to play the new Halo 2. Hunter Slasher 13 said, I'm excited for Halo 4! Nah, just kidding. I'm the biggest AC fan on this site, so of course I'm excited for Assassin's Creed 3. Assassin's Creed 3 is definitely the game I'm most excited for this year. Wow, Hunter. I hope you weren't this excited for Revelations last year. Alright, this week's question is a little different. You see, I need to get into the blue base. There's two ways that I can do that. I can go over the bridge or under it. Taking the bridge is faster, but I'm more open to enemy fire. I could go under the bridge, but I don't know what waits for me. So, question is, should I take the bridge or go under it? Leave your answer in the comments below. Don't forget to follow me on the Twitters at GUDarkfeed or like me on the Facebooks at facebook.com forward slash Dark Sky King. Mission's about to start, guys. See you next week.